being here and for doing this. We're going to save this country together, ladies and gentlemen, and it starts right here in Michigan. Now, I, 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 was, I was driving up here, actually, you know, I live in Cincinnati, and today's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, right? One of the most important jobs in our country. And, and you know, I, 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 was, I was thinking to myself, I passed a few spots with these windmills everywhere. And, you know, people really like windmills for some reason. They're hideously ugly. They kill all the birds, and they're mostly made in China. Other than that, right, the windmills are fine. But it, 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 it sort of occurred to me that we have to have something that we're for in the Republican Party. We have to make sure that we're not just against ugly windmills, that we're for something. We have to articulate exactly what it is that we're for. And I think it's appropriate in Michigan, of all places, to be explicit about what exactly we're for. And at the top of the list in the 2024 election, ladies and gentlemen, we are for an American nation that is built by American people, that employs American workers. We've got to be self-sufficient, make our own stuff, and do it for our own people. You know, there, there, there's this weird thing going around in the Democratic Party where they love electric vehicles. They're obsessed with electric vehicles. And I remember, you know, President Trump once told me, he said that the best part about an electric vehicle is the first 10 minutes you drive it. The worst part is the entire rest of the time when you're terrified. You're going to run out of battery. You don't know where, where, where to charge the thing, right? Well, here, here's the crazy thing. I talked to an auto executive recently who told me that the electric vehicles on the car lots all across our country are sitting on the lots for over 100 days. And the gas-powered cars, they can't keep them on the lot. They're, they're there for 15 days, for 20 days. You know why? Because Americans want to drive gas-powered cars. And my attitude towards this is you, you, should, you should be able to drive whatever car you want to. If you want to drive an EV, that's fine. But if you want to drive a gas-powered car, the Republican Party says you ought to be able to drive a gas-powered car because this is America. We drive whatever the hell we want in the United States of America. And by the way, since we are in Detroit, the home of the American automobile, the American automobile is made, the, the gas-powered car is the American automobile. It's made in America. The transmissions are made in America. The, the carburetors, the parts are made in America. What is it with the Biden administration that wants to ship our entire manufacturing industry to China? Why don't we make things here in our own country with our own workers? That is the simple solution to so many of our problems. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got three kids. We'll talk about a problem. Here, here's a problem, and I'll try to give you a solution. I've got three kids. They're seven years old, four years old, and two-year-olds. So I'm, I'm thrilled uh, to be able to go back home. And I have, my, my wife said, what do you want for Father's Day? I said, a giant steak. So we're having a steak tonight. I'm very excited. I'm sure a lot of dads out there are going to do the same. But here, 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 here's the thing. Kids get sick all the time. And I didn't realize this until I was a dad. You take your kids to the pharmacist, and they'll tell you, well, we don't have that antibiotic, and we don't have that antibiotic, and we don't have that antibiotic. And you know why? It's because we've allowed the Chinese to make the drugs that we put into the bodies of our children. So that is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. A problem, by the way, that Joe Biden has made worse. Our solution, make more of our own stuff in our own country. It's very simple.